वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ डिस्क्रीट मैथ्स सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी विल टॉक अबाउट बाय कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू राइट द ट्रूथ टेबल फॉर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कंपाउंड प्रपोजिशन and then we will also be talking about what is the precedence of different logical operators so let us start first is the recap part so we have talked about what is a proposition right we also talked about what is propositional variables like we use different symbols p q r etc to denote the propositions so those variables are known as propositional variables we have seen the negation of the statement so if i have a statement p uh, then we can write its truth table negation of p and if p is true negation of p is false and if p is false negation of p is true we have also seen the truth table for a uh, different uh, operator like conjunction operator like disjun disjunction operator right so if p is true q is true p is true q is false p is false q is true and then this is true and uh, sorry this is false and this is false right so we have seen that p and q is true in the case when both p and uh, q are true and it is false in all other cases and if i talk about p or q it is true when both are true and true and false also gives you true false and true also gives you true but when both of them are false then it becomes false so we have seen these things we also have seen uh, that uh, what is the uh, conditional statement p implies q and there uh, i have made a very important comment and i hope you all remember that p imply q is false is false only when when uh, p is true when p is true and q is false q is false in all other cases p implies q uh, remains true right so this is important we uh, talked about what is the converse contrapositive and inverse of a conditional statement uh, we have seen that if p implies q is the statement then the converse is q implies p contrapositive is negation of q implies negation of p and inverse is negation of p implies negation of q okay now uh, to start with let us quickly see this problem that what is the contrapositive the converse and the inverse of the conditional statement so the home team wins whenever it is raining this is the original statement right so uh, before i write the contrapositive converse and inverse of it first of all let us rephrase this statement it is just a different way of saying that if it is raining if it is raining then then the home team home team wins this is the statement i hope you agree to this now if i have to write the contrapositive so let us call this this statement it is raining as p and the home team wins let us call this q so what will be the contrapositive contrapositive will be negation of q implies negation of p so how i will write that in english language i will write that in english language as if the home team does not win then it is not raining i repeat it you can pause the video and read it yourself the contrapositive will be if the home team does not win then it is not raining okay what will be the converse of this statement converse is q implies p so it is simple it is just if the home team wins then it is raining what is q q is the statement the home team wins so if the home team wins then it is raining 
and what will be the inverse of this statement inverse is negation of p implies negation of q what is negation of p uh, it is not raining right so this statement will translate into if it is not raining then the home team does not win i repeat if it is not raining then the home team does not win you can pause the video try writing it yourself and match your answer uh, let us now talk about the biconditional statement if p and q are two proposition then the biconditional statement is the proposition p if and only if q right the biconditional statement p if and only if q is true when p and q have the same truth values and is false otherwise biconditional statements are also known as by implication uh, so you can see the truth table as it has been already pointed that if p is true and q is true means both of them have the same truth value then this is true and if p is false and q is also false it means if both of them have the same truth value in that case it is true in two other cases when p is true uh, but q is false this is false when p is false but this is true it is uh, also false right suppose uh, look at this example that p be the statement you can take the flight and q be the statement you buy a ticket so what is the uh, english translation of p if and only if q it means that you can take the flight if and only if you buy a ticket right i repeat it you can take the flight if and only if you buy the ticket right now uh, we are going to write quickly some of the truth table uh, for some given compound proposition and i would suggest you here at this point that before you see the video please pause it and try writing the answer yourself and then you can uh, match your answer that whether you are able to write it correctly or not so uh, suppose i uh, take p here i take q here and here i take p or q here i take p and q and uh, finally here i take uh, p or q implies p and q there are other columns but that is not needed here so first thing is that you have to write the truth tables truth values so p is true q is true p is true q is false p is false q is true uh, p is false q is false so what is p or q p or q this will be true this will also be true this will also be true this will be false uh, the or is false only when both of them are false and p and q so this is true when both of them are true and in uh, it is false in all other cases so what it will be it will be uh, true and in all other cases it will be uh, false i hope it is making sense to you now finally i am going to write the conditional so in conditional we just have seen that it is false only when a uh, first statement is true another statement is false then p implies q is false so let us look at this this is true this is true so this will also be true this is true and this is false so in this case it will be a false statement if this is true and this is false in this case again this will be false and finally we have true uh, false and false so in this case this will be true i hope it is clear right uh, let us uh, proceed further and write the truth table for some more uh, you know uh, compound proposition so here uh, i am again starting with uh, p right and uh, let me write q here here we have to write p implies q and we require negation of q so i write negation of q here we require negation of p so i write negation of p here uh, here we need to write negation of q implies negation of p and finally uh, we have to write uh, p implies q 
uh, and here we have both way implication and negation of q implies negation of p right so write the truth table this is true 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 false false true false false p implies q is false only when first is true and next one is false and this is what you can do also uh, you just uh, write the odd one out and then in other cases it is just true so we don't have to think much negation of q so q is true it is false if it is false it is true if it is true it is false if it is false it is true and what will be negation of p true true so the first two will be false false and then false false so the last two will be true and true now negation of q implies negation of p so false false true true false 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 true false true true and true 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 i hope you agree it is false only when the first one is false like the first statement here is negation of q so if it is true and the next statement that is negation of p is false then it is false and finally we are going to uh, write the biconditional statement and uh, here we see that uh, in uh, biconditional we have to look at this column and we have to look at this column so uh, when both of them will have the same truth value it will be true otherwise it is false so if you look at this column the first entry here is true and here also it is true so true and true will be true if you look at this it is false and this is false here i am talking about this and this so this will also be true if you look at this it is true and this is also true so this is true and finally uh, this is uh, true and this is also true so we get true so here we note that uh, this uh, statement the final statement which is a biconditional uh, is getting all its uh, you know values as true right so this is how we can write the truth table not only this we are also going to write the truth table for a compound proposition involving three different variable and this is the first important observation that you have to make that if we have three different variables then in the truth table there will be total 2 into 2 into 2 means 8 number of rows means there are 8 possible combination for the truth values of p q and r so let us quickly write p q and r so what uh, it should be it should be true true and true it should be true true false true false true true false 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 true true false uh, true false 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 true false false and false you should uh, write this in the pattern if you look at the p column you have first four values true the last four values false then q column first two true false false true true false false and finally here true false true false true false true false so this is how you can also uh, remember it uh, first you have to write p implies q right and when we know that if the first value is false then p implies q will be true so we don't have to think much here we write true 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 and true and here uh, true 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 false uh, the next one is true uh, sorry true true again true true false false and true false false at this stage i uh, take a pause right and i would like you to complete the solution of this video in case if you are not able to complete uh, we will be uh, starting with the same problem in the next video right so i would suggest you that first complete this uh, truth table see that whether you are able to complete it or not if you are not able to complete then uh, put a comment in the comment box and i will start with the same problem in the next video thank you